Hello, everyone. I know what you're thinking. Who is this man? Why is he on my YouTube feed? Am I hallucinating? Well, no. You're not hallucinating, and yes, Planet Rust Season 3 is coming. By the way, I'm very sorry for the background noise. There are two seagulls loudly mating outside of my window, and all my fans have to be turned on, as England has suddenly decided to become as hot as the sauna of hell. So yes, I'm very sorry about that. Now, this video will serve as a small catch-up and will allow me to answer some questions before the series begins proper. I'm sorry if this isn't a truly structured video, as I want it to be relatively informal and more of a chat with the fans. I hope you guys enjoyed the teaser. I ended up spending a lot more time on it than I thought, but I think it sets the stage quite nicely for the season. So, you may be thinking to yourself, why the title of this video? Why do you need my help? Well, I'm going to explain all of that post-haste. Initially, I'd like to apologise for my prolonged absence. I feel very guilty about it, and have missed you all very, very much. The past months have been far from easy for me, but I have hoped the following will be much better. Starting with, of course, Planet Rust. I'm not going to go into the details because I don't believe it affects anything, just know that I'm sorry and I have high hopes for the future. Anyway, on to the point of the video. I have taken two months holiday, or vacation if you're a yank, from work in order to film this series. I've written it before, but intend to get the majority of filming done within this time, working on it full time. It is so much fun. I've missed this so much, and I really think this season will blow the others out of the water. It's much more ambitious of a show this time, and will prove a wonderful finale for both the hunter and his journey, but also for you guys, the viewers. Now, with that being said, YouTube isn't the same place it was when I left. As of this video, pretty much every one of my videos is demonetized. Maybe because of my profound vulgarity, sorry mum, or maybe due to the hundreds of false music flags I've had over the years, sometimes on my own content, but hey, what can you do? I'm not trying to garner sympathy, just merely aiming to explain why I need my job right now, and to justify my absence somewhat, needing to save, rent's not cheap. All is not doom and gloom, however. YouTube has never, ever been far from my mind, and I cannot emphasize how much fun making this content for you guys is, but I need your help. This is our story, not just mine, and the show needs to reflect that. I know, due to my absence, that many people, understandably, have given up on the channel, moved on or just assumed I had disappeared from this ethereal plane, and my viewership, as a result, is not the same. So, the long and short of it is, I'm going to be charging for Planet Rust Season 3. It's going to be $5.99 an episode. <laughs> no, 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 don't close off the video, I'm only joking. I mean, who on earth would charge for YouTube content? <laughs> no, the truth is, I'm not so bothered about views anymore. This season is something I want to do for you, the guys watching this right now. Knowing that I've made any of you happy is all I care about. That being said, I would really appreciate if you pressed that thumbs up button and shared the videos about a bit. It would mean so much to me, and would hopefully get some of the people who understandably ran out of patience with me to see the videos and enjoy them too. I don't mean to sound beggy at all, and this is rather out of character for me, but I really want to finish the trilogy the right way for all those who want to see it. So, enough of that. On to more positive news, and I have a lot of that. I've been busy, you see. Firstly, we are very lucky this season to have a dedicated composer for the show. Freddie Prest is a man I've worked with often in the past, and he is simply a musical wizard. I know how many of you wanted a score to download at the end of the previous two seasons, and hopefully this will be a chance for an official EP to be available for one and for all. It's so good to be working with him, and the creative vision of the show has been expanded exponentially due to it. Secondly, my Patreon has been updated with all sorts of cool goodies for after or during the season. I want to thank all of you who have donated in the past, present, and future. You have no idea how much it's helped me, especially on unpaid work leave. Donations make this work so much more doable and practical. So, yeah, if you'd like to support the show monetarily, have a look at the Patreon, and thank you so much in advance. And please, for heaven's sake, if you donate, email me at lolloutftw at gmail.com. I'd like to properly thank you there. Thirdly, the coded videos, and yes, these were obvious ones initially. They will get harder, believe me. 
For anyone who does not know, throughout the season I'll be releasing these cryptic videos. Each one contains a number, and the first person to email me the complete list of numbers after the final coded video will win a prize. I know this isn't for everyone, but it's a bit of fun to keep you all busy between episodes. Fourthly, the official LOLout server will be making a comeback after the season. I know so many of you enjoyed playing on there, and I can't wait to get it back up and running. It'll be fun doing some more fan stuff, videos, raid cams, cinematics, etc. And I think that about wraps it up. I really wanted to have a quick catch up with you guys prior to the release, as it's been so bloody long, I'm sorry. You'll notice that the teaser was in a different aspect ratio to the standard YouTube 16x9. Now, for me, this is great. It means I can fit more into shots and create a far more cinematic experience. But, if the black bars are very annoying, please let me know in the comments, and I'll resort to my default. Please comment below either 16x9 or cinematic. I'd love to know your opinions on this. Lastly, and probably most importantly, thanks for sticking around, guys. Sorry I've been a sod. It means so much that you guys are still here, and I'm going to try my very bloody best to not disappoint you all again. So, toodaloo guys, and of course, stay coy.